Hi, uh, just a few bits and bobs today. Um, because a lot has happened in the last week. It's been like a week since my last one. Sorry, because I've been running really low on power. I mean, um, this thing, this thing's completely dead. This thing's gone. This thing's in the afterlife right now. Uh, I've been trying to get juice into this. And if you remember before, it was one at one light out of eight. And it is currently at a one light out of eight. <sighs> so, um... I've been spending time in a hack lab trying to improve efficiency. We've been attaching diodes across each of our rectifiers um, to replace um, the diode on each of the dynamos because there is a diode on each of them to limit the maximum voltage because they're designed to be used with sort of lights. That's their intended application, isn't it? Um, and you don't want too high a voltage on that because then the lights will blow. But this um, can take greater power requirements. So we've um, put sort of um, diodes that allow... They uh, don't limit the voltage as much. So we can put more... Vol so when I'm going down a hill, we can um, use as more voltage than I was... Uh, we can generate more voltage than I was before. Um, but, man, it was so frustrating um, trying to... Uh, adjust each of the dynamos, trying to take them off and put them back on again. Because you've got to try and get the, um, there's like a, a, a screw with a nut on the end and you've got to try and get your wrench in round the back and you can't see because the frame's in the way and you're trying to, trying to adjust it, but it keeps slipping and it takes so long. Um, and you finally get it off, cut out the uh, diode, and then it's the same problem trying to get it back on again. Uh, you, um, and you spent ages at it, and then finally it's over, and you stand back to admire your hard work, and you realise that the dynamo is out of alignment with the wheel. So it all starts again, you've got to unscrew it, move it up or down, or twist it um, to try and get it back into alignment. It takes so long, and I felt like I was going crazy. Because oh, each one took like half an hour. No joke. Um... Like, I'll put up with cold showers in the pitch darkness. I'll put up with cold soup because someone has stolen my barbecue. But I tell you, if I have to flip and adjust another flipping dynamo, I will flip out. <laughs> oh, sorry, just got to vent a bit. But, um, yeah, that's over now, thank goodness. Um, I'm currently using the last dregs of power in this to try and charge... This, which is a dumb, dumb phone. It's my dad's old phone. Because um, this died on me. And that was a little bit scary because I was then kind of completely cut off from the world. Um, that lasts like four days maximum, which is much better than my smartphone, but it's still not quite good enough. So I'm hoping this will last like a week. And it is charging. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, look at it go. Yes. Oh, okay, um, next thing is clothes. These are... I've just brought these back from the drying room. Uh, they've got, like, racks there, and um, you can hang them up in the warm. Oh, um, and it's... Um, it's great, because now I've got clean, dry clothes. Yes! Um, yeah, because I finally figured out how to dry them, because before I, I was cleaning them, and then I had these trousers in just this... just in a wet pile in the room for days because I couldn't um, figure out how to dry them without a washing line but I've now got that so I hang them outside until they stop dripping and then I put them inside in the warm room uh, so we don't get water everywhere on the floor um, but I've got to say um, it feels great um, <laughs> having these uh, just clean clothes because um, yeah I mean it's not perfect like you can there are like spots and marks on them but <laughs> uh, I know, like, there must be, like, squeamish people among you, like, oh, this guy's a tramp, but, um, look, they're clean. I think that's what's important. I don't think if there's a little mark, that makes any difference, really, so please get over it. Uh, so that's the clothes side of it. Yeah, but it feels great, because the best thing is that I'm the one who cleaned them as well. Um... That's a first. That's never happened before. It feels great. Um, and the last thing is... Um, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd show you um, how what I'm doing instead of using a fridge. Sorry about the set in my room. Uh, I'll move that somewhere more pleasant to look at. 
like these nice patterns. Um, because technically I could use the fridge because um, I use lights when other people are already using them. I use the oven when other people are already using it. So technically I could use the fridge, but I don't know. That just feels wrong to me because like I'm meant to be giving up mains electricity and then using something that's plugged in all the time doesn't sit well with me. So while I could use it, I decided to avoid it. Yeah, I'm, I'm that crazy. So this is what I've been using instead. Um, I'm just going to set this up so you can see, so I can adjust the window with both hands. Give me a minute. Uh, there you go. Oh, no. There you go. This is my fridge. And got milk. And just got a last bit of grape juice. <laughs> um, yeah, so I um, during the night it it gets it goes below freezing pretty much. Like it's pretty cold up here. Um, so yeah, that's perfect temperature to store milk, isn't it? Uh, keep two to five degrees. It says, so if it's below freezing, perfect. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I haven't, I've only had it go off once. I do, I do taste test stuff to make sure I'm not poisoning myself. <laughs> but it works. Um, okay, um, this is going on far too long. It's almost seven minutes. Better get going. Um, I'll try and do a vlog um, on Saturday because then I'm going to be cycling my legs off with um because yeah it's my free day so i'm gonna just be cycling as much as possible to try and get as much charge on this all right see you later